Hey guys, this is Jamrin guys. So 63 tutorial material design mockup challenge 3 in this tutorial We are going to make this type of design. So without wasting our time Let us create a new project in Visual Studio for Mac You are, you can use Visual Studio for Windows 2. Let us start our Visual Studio Now let us start a new project by going to new project and Then select Xamarin form application here. I'll be using dotnet standard project and give it a name as you like here I'll be giving challenge 3 and then click on next and then create a new project now let us build our project by going to build and build all now let us remove this set of code as we are not going to use stack layout let us create contents inside our content page we'll add a scroll view so that our whole view is going to be scrolled now let us add now let us add frame inside our stack layout before that let us give frame padding as 0 and then let us add stack layout so that it can cover up our frame and then scroll inside the scroll view as up as well as down now le let us add another stack layout of orientation vertical and then I'll give spacing as 10 now let us close that let us add grid inside our given stack layout I'll define grid row spacing as 1 and then padding as 0 from left 0 from top as well as right from 0 and from down as 1 and column spacing as 1 background color as light gray you can play with those values Here we are going to add two columns so I'll define it and in two columns we will have grid rows so let us define two columns as column definitions and then let us add our grid rows as grid dot row definition as we are going to have multiple grid rows so let us define our grid row definitions now let us add four grid rows this is my grid row one this is my second grid row this is my third and then this is my fourth grid row now let us add another stack layout of orientation vertical I'll give background color as white and then padding as 10 now horizontal option as fill and expand now let us cut that and then inside our stack layout we are going to give image source I'll give that source like a location later let us add horizontal option as center and expand now let us give a label text as recent photograph and then font size as small and then horizontal option as fill and expand then we are going to add horizontal text alignment as center that's all now this label will be displayed along with the image now let us copy and paste our stack layout I'll define this stack layout in grid column 1 as you can see and our first stack layout is going to be defined within grid column 0 now let us add another stack layout inside grid row 1 and then let us add another grid column 1 and I have to define grid row 1 in order to get another grid row 1 now let us copy our stack layout and then paste it now we have to define our grid row as 2 for this and then grid row 2 that's all and column will be defined on 0th and 1 position now let us add grid row 3 over here so that we can get all those grids now our main objective is to add image here I am using Android Ossity Studio here I can give any name as you like let us download it this is my link we can download it from here after it we have to unzip it 
I'll take resources and then copy it inside our SDPI folder along with that X SDPI we have to paste it over drawable X SDPI again let us paste it again in drawable double X SDPI we just add over here that's all now let us rename our image we can add that image inside our IS project also let us add two image sources this is my image source this is my another image source now let us create a button giving background color as C1802 you can play with those values let us give text color as white and then I'll give border radius as 30 you can give margin also that's all now let us add a text giving text as next font size as small that's all now let us build and run our project whether it gives us correct output or not okay we got our expected output now you can add margin also for that button that's all for this tutorial now thank you guys thanks for watching keep it touch for next tutorials